What's up guys, welcome back to Kenji's Garage. We are gonna be talking about my dual petrol system that I built under 5,000 Rand, DC DC charger. Okay, the price excludes the battery. Let's get started. So before we start by talking while I got you, what you need to choose first of all, before you choose your system, is you need to choose a charger. A specific charging system that can charge from your main battery in front of the car to the secondary battery at the back of the car. Now there's many many YouTube videos out there so you can just Google that but my choice is the WRND. Alright so this is the WRND battery system proudly made in South Africa. The price is around about 2,000 Rand. This is a DC to DC charger so which means that it keeps the charging in your dual battery system at 13.7 float. Okay, so which means that a lot of cars out there that have, at the moment have something called an intelligent charger, which means that if your main battery in the front is fully charged, the alternator switches off. It doesn't push any more power. With this system, it will maintain that your dual battery at the back will still be charged at 13.7 volts, all right? The maximum current limit is 20 amps, which is perfect. If you choose a 105 amp deep cycle battery, this will be more than enough. It also has solar charging function. It comes with pre-wires and is clearly marked. Car, so this goes to your from your car battery, this is your auxiliary battery, and this is your solar. Very, very simple. I, I don't really know what this is, but it works anyway. You could use a chocker block to connect the other wires together, but I went this route because I'm not an electrician. Anyway. All right guys, the next thing you need to choose is your battery box. So you can actually get a very cheap box for about 500 Rand, but it won't come with any connections and Brad Harris, etc., etc. So I am also technically minded, so I kind of chose a box that kind of um, fits all my needs. So this one, which is from the 4x4 store online, I'll put all the link on the bottom. This one has two Brad Harris already on it, has a 12 volt input, output, sorry, uh, and a USB output as well, as well as a voltmeter, so you can check the um, capacity of your battery. It's all built in one box, all compact. This, I think, was about one and a half to two thousand rand. You would just go search around, but at the 4x4 store online, they have this box available, which is perfect. So the next thing you need to choose is your battery. So, personally, I only chose a 105 amp battery, deep cycle battery, which is more than enough for what I need, which is to basically run my fridge at the back fridge slash freezer, Snowmaster. Um, I'll put a link on the top. Um, I did a little review on the Snowmaster fridge that I bought. These deep cycle batteries, unfortunately, you cannot drain down more than 50%. Okay, so which means that this, a healthy battery should show 12.9 volts. You can always check on the voltmeter that's on the box here to see, but I've got something even better. This is also from the 4 horse store. This is a Bluetooth monitor, all right? It monitors the charging rate, it tells you the everything. It tells you the voltage on the, on the battery, the capacity on the battery. I'll show you guys later once I put everything back in. Before we start fitting everything together, there are a few other things that you will need, okay? You'll need to have around about seven meters of 16 millimeter um, cable. You will need around about maybe just two meters of these four millimeter cables, so you can connect your WRND to the box and everything. You'll need four Brad Harris cables, besides the one that's on the box. Okay, so two would be for your input, I would suggest red or any other color that you want, uh, into the WRD. So these are for the input into the WRD, which I do, I'm gonna fit on the box. And you need two more, one from the car cable, 
uh, from the main battery and then obviously one to fit on your solar panel. So that all in all without the battery was literally under 5,000 Rand or less. I think it was four and a half. So let's put it together. The WRND now is in the box, in the bottom of the box, so it's out the way of everything. It'll fit in between this section here of the battery. So, obviously I've done it already, but you, 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 what you need to do is obviously you need to connect the, from the pre-existing wires from the WRND to a Brad Harris for the solar. Um, for the car, which is from the battery in the front, you're gonna have to also Put some wires and put a Brad Harris so you can connect the Brad Harris on from the car to this side. Oh, and by the way, the one the, the, the wires from the car you need a 100 amp breaker between the car battery and the secondary battery that goes into the WRND. Um, that section I didn't do myself, I went to a uh, any sound shop, they would easily put it in for a very cheap price. I think it was like 500 bucks just to lay the cables in. Then you've got the auxiliary, which means you just got to do a uh, positive negative onto it. And then this goes into your secondary battery that's in the box here. All right. Um, what I've done now also is, I've also pre-drilled the holes on top of the box. So I also put there battery and solar. So all I gotta do is make sure that the, this is the solar. So solar will come here, over here, be fixed here, and then the battery will be fixed there. All right, so once that's fixed, you know you can close up the battery box and uh, finger cross everything will work. Now, this Bluetooth battery monitor is so 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 simple it works with an app on your phone and then obviously bluetooth i will show you now once i put everything in the car we will check now how the car is so this is so simple to install you basically put the positive which is the red side ooh, sorry, to the positive of the battery try and put it on the bottom okay that was just the lights and then the <laughs> And then the uh, negative to the negative side. So you do it like this, maybe like this. Yeah. Look. I think I'm gonna put it on the outside. Okay, everything's inside the battery. Everything is all compact. Now to fit this, what I meant was fitting outside is there's actually two nodes here that I could just fit it outside. So let's do that. Let's fit it in the car, put it in the battery, and I'll show you the Bluetooth monitor. Okay, so the battery monitor is the app for the Bluetooth battery monitor. So let's open it up. 
searching device here we go connected 12.89 percent and it says 100 percent all right let's go start up the car car started let's hope it works <laughs> thank god it works all right so the wrd is now definitely the car is definitely charging the battery through the wrd uh, let's give it a few moments okay let's fast forward this all right so you can see it's working it's floating at 13.7 volts which means that it will be charging the secondary battery regardless how of the behavior of the car, the intelligent alternator, or the secondary battery. So the WRD is definitely working and it is charging the battery. Brilliant. All right guys, there you have it. My secondary battery, literally under four and a half thousand, five thousand rand. I will list everything down below, where I bought what and how much it cost, more or less. And for me, this is exactly what I need just to power up my fridge and to charge maybe some lights maybe some phones or whatever and maybe i will in the future add another battery or maybe a inverter um, to uh, so i can charge my um, laptop but for now this is perfect for me so if you have any questions please put down below and i will try and answer it i'm not a very technical guy but i will try my best to answer it uh, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you love it please subscribe to my channel I'll have much more content in the future. Drive safe, be safe. Cheers.